Here's tonight's 9 at 9. In El Salvador, the country reported two consecutive days with zero homicides. Murders had been reported daily until Sunday. If that trend continues, March could become the least violent month in recent decades. The FDA is warning about the possibility of EpiPen malfunctions. The agency says the devices could become difficult to remove from their carrier tubes or could be accidentally activated. Pfizer and Mylan will replace defective devices for free. Waffle House is closing more than 350 of its locations due to the coronavirus pandemic. More than 1,600 locations, though, will remain open. In Boston, cameras capture manholes exploding near a train station. Fire and smoke could be seen gushing out of the ground. A witness said one of the explosions sent a manhole cover 30 feet into the air. The underground fires prompted authorities to shut down the commuter station. A utility company blamed equipment failure, but no injuries were reported. Americans are stockpiling eggs during the coronavirus outbreak as they cook more meals at home. And that's leading to supply shortages and a spike in prices at some supermarkets. According to the most recent Nielsen data, egg sales went up 44% for the week ending during March 14th compared to a year ago. Meanwhile, wholesale egg prices have risen 180% since the beginning of March. An Iowa teen improvises after a marathon he was supposed to run in California was canceled. With the encouragement of his friends, he decided to run on his own. And it was really them who pushed me towards um, doing this thing after I lost basically all motivation. His friends even participated, some riding bikes. A marathon is like intense, but it's like, um, it's also relaxing at the same time. The team finished the marathon in two hours and 47 minutes. The National Cathedral in Washington is stepping up to help in the battle against coronavirus. The cathedral donated 5,000 respirator masks today. In the midst of so many difficult things going on in our city and across our country, had a little bit of grace at the cathedral this week. We discovered that we had in the crypt uh, thousands of N95 masks that we have had here at the cathedral since the uh, possible uh, outbreak of avian bird flu years ago. 3,000 masks were delivered to Georgetown University Hospital and 2,000 went to Children's National. A new Netflix show called Cooked with Cannabis is debuting on April 20th or 420. The show challenges chefs to make dishes using ingredients infused with marijuana. And Elton John will host an hour-long benefit special Sunday night to raise money for frontline healthcare workers and first responders. It's called Fox Presents the iHeart Living Room Concert for America. Included in the lineup, Alicia Keys, the Backstreet Boys, Billie Eilish, Billy Joe Armstrong, Mariah Carey, and Tim McGraw. All the artists will appear from their own homes. To read more about these stories, head to ksat.com.